Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've just finished all the weeklies for next week. Um, so go and have a look at your weeklies. This is for Saturday the 30th of November and we're saying goodbye to November tonight. And we're going into the last month of this year. Tomorrow will be the first and, and then, yep, it's up to Christmas. 24 more days. Okay, Let, you can choose one or you can choose both or one or two. Just take it as your intuition is saying, choose that one or take both, whatever. Okay, if you're new, this is a, a daily reading and it is for the 30th of November 2019. Please hit the subscription button and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. Okay, and welcome to the channel and welcome to my beautiful cyber babes, my angels, my faithful followers. And if you would like to become a cyber babe, then join us live. I go live every single day and I give away free cards and Super Chat is also available. Super Chat is that you can have a small reading uh, for a donation up to five euros. If you want a, a four card reading with an oracle card and a clarification card, it is 5.55 euros. Okay, and there are more readings, so go and have a look under announcements. There you can find a video introducing readings and in some of the back screens of the last three or four videos of next week. So there you go. And there's a special pre-launch offer at 35 euros for 30 to 40 to 45 minutes approximately. This is a private reading and I can do that through video or I can do that through Messenger or Skype. And I can, if you do it through Skype, then I can tape it for you and send it on later so that you can watch it back at your convenience. Okay, let's get started. This is for Capricorn. I've got the Lenormand card here for you. And the Lenormand card is the scythe. You are cutting with the past today. You are done with the past and you're harvesting. This could be just knowledge and experience or you can be harvesting material goods. Okay, like the corn. Um, it could be that you finished with the Queen of Pentacles. That could be a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Uh, but it could also mean that because it's a separate card, if you take it as two, then um, uh, the card two, then uh, it could mean that you're meeting up with a lady that is the Queen of Pentacles. She stands also for Mother Earth, like the Empress, as she has green fingers. Whatever she touches will turn to fruition. It, she also stands for um, fertility, birth, new beginnings, um, growth, blossoming and harvesting. Usually she, she, she looks pregnant, but I don't know whether you can see it here, but she does look somewhat rounded in her tummy. But usually you either see her with a baby in her arms or with a, 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 a pregnant tummy uh, to represent fertility and birth. You might be getting a new job. Um, if you're a lady, you might be getting a new job. You might have invested in something. If you're a gentleman, you might have that nurturing, caring um, nature and you might have invested emotionally in something for long term and uh, that ha is durable, like a relationship or even in a business. You might have even invested in getting a partner that is a lady and she could be a Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Now we're going to Aquarius and you've got the lilies, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is the king of spades, that is the king of swords. So you might be meeting a Gemini, um, a, a Libra or an Aquarian. You might be seeking advice from one of these people or it could be a father figure or a professional. This could be a teacher, this could be a social worker, this could be an advocate, this could be a doctor, uh, whatever. 
uh, but a mature man. And he's quite communicative and he's clear. He stands for justice and clarity and honesty. You can trust him. Also, because we've got the church window here, the, you can trust him, Is you're protected by him, and also by the universe and the angels. There's also luck in business or work. If you've chosen two, you've got the chariot. The chariot means you're going forward and you are being recognized. You have victory. You are the champion or the champ, uh, hero or the heroine. You might have bought a new car. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. But uh, recognition can also mean promotion in work or somebody's got an eye on you and they fancy you. Ooh, new love affair. So there you go. And if you've chosen two, then combine the two. You might have a new business partner or somebody might have an eye on you for a business partner. Then you've got the bunch of flowers. The bunch of flowers, um, that is the queen of uh, swords. The queen of, um, ah, I forgot them now. You've got diamonds, hearts, spades, the queen of spades. Now, uh, you might be receiving um, a gift, a bunch of flowers, and definitely luck is on your side. This could be from a queen of uh, swords. Uh, you might be even getting pro uh, po uh, positive news from this lady. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarian. That is your card from the Lenormand, um, Aquarius. Uh, sorry, Pisces. This is Pisces. Okay. By the way, if you are in uh, if you are in a judicial situation or in a hospital and you've just had an operation, you might be getting good news from um, a surgeon or an advocate. Okay. The t uh, troubled times are over, as you have the nine of wands here, and the nine of wands means. Um, You've been through the walls. You've been through a difficult time. You, you can see he's kneeling here. So he's taking a rest before he can start his new beginning. He already sees his new beginning. Okay. Wow. Nice card. Aries, you've got the clover that I don't have to go into that. But the clover means good luck. And the white flowers means that you might be thinking or reminiscing about the past. OK, and perhaps somebody might come back from the past. OK, <clears throat> you've got the two of staves. You're making plans for your future. And which path are you going to take? It doesn't matter. But remember, don't do anything in haste because you'll have to repent in leisure. They will always come back onto the main path. You've got the high road and the low road. That is how I see it. Or the quick road or the slow road. Take your time if you need to and be quick. But then you might be cutting corners and you might have to repent in leisure. If you make any mistakes, then we go on to Taurus. Taurus, you've got the owls. That means the birds. But these are the wise birds. So you might get some official news. OK. There might be official news coming to you. Perhaps you have passed your exams and you're getting your diploma. Perhaps you've passed the driving license and you're getting good news that you've passed your driving test. This could also be news uh, invitations, official invitations to weddings, to parties, to gatherings. OK, tourists, and let's have a look. Could be official news from the tax office as you've got the king of pentacles. Whatever he touches um, turns to gold. So you might get a tax rebate. Be careful with the birds though. Um, in the worst scenario, it can mean gossip. Okay, but you will receive news. Somebody might have flown the group or left the, left the group or flown the coop. Somebody might have left the workplace or home or somebody might have just taken off. Okay. Or you might be meeting a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. 
Wow. This is Taurus, isn't it? One, two, three. Yes, that's Taurus. You might meet another Taurus, Taurus. Okay. And I'm getting suddenly, he's looking away, so I don't think he's sending news. Um, but I think he's going to receive news, but he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> of course, I think he already knows it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's going to be good news, I hope. Anyway, take care. Then we're going on to Gemini. You can work well in groups, Gemini, but do you know your boundaries? Get to know your boundaries if you don't, and set your boundaries and let others know what your boundaries are. You've also got luck in business and luck at work. If you've chosen two, this is you, uh, Gemini. Oh, you've got the air sign, the ace of swords. The truth is coming out. Perhaps you had a business or um, perhaps you had a judicial issue, okay? And it has to do with business. It uh, could be with companies. It uh, could have to be that you've been laid off work because you, you had an accident and you didn't get redundancy money or sickness benefits. Now the truth is coming out and now there is a new beginning. So you might be getting... Uh, justification. You might get justice. You'll get what you deserve. This could also mean new communication. You might start a new study. Uh, this might also be new wisdom. So that's the study. You might get new information that uh, brings clarity to the whole situation and the honesty that you deserve. Cancer, you've got the cross. Are you depressed? Do you believe in yourself? Do you trust yourself? You can do it, Cancer. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, have faith in yourself. This doesn't only have to do with the church and with the uh, with belief uh, as in a religion. You just, it has to do with you. You might be depressed because Jesus was on the cross and that was sad. So then you feel sadness, depression. So don't be depressed, don't be in your head. Okay, have faith, make a decision, stand up, dust yourself off. Others have faith in you, others trust you implicitly and have faith. They have faith in you, stand up, dust yourself off, make a decision or a choice and go for it. You can do it. You are going into a beautiful rich phase, luxury. You are going to get what you wished for. Because that's a nine, and a nine of pentacles is a lot like the nine of cups. You've worked really, really hard to get where you are. You are the lady of the manor, okay? So don't doubt yourself. You're, you're going for it. You're closing off a bad period, and you're going into a better period. Wow. New beginnings. Okay, Leo, you've got the ring. You might meet the right person today, or you might have met the right person, and you've made a bond. This could be a friend for life, as you've got the wedding ring, but it could also be a business partner. Woo, nice, nice, nice. You've got recognition uh, for your hard work, so the partner is willing to join up. Great stuff, Leo, go for it. And Virgo, you've got the heart. You might have found your new love or your a new passion today. So there you go. Also bonding. New partner in love or work. You'll be receiving news. This could be a fire sign. This could be a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo that you've met. Head over heels in love and you might get a message from them. Okay, Libra, you've got the book, sorry, you've got the book, and the book means there are secrets, perhaps there are things that you don't know, and perhaps you might start a new study. The book means also study, look at all the books behind, perhaps you have to learn something. You might have sleepless nights because you might be at your examination week just before Christmas, um, you get to get you have to study books, 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 and I see you 
studying and uh, late at night. Don't worry so much. Put your issues beh beside your clothes, give it to the universe and have faith that they will stand by you and help you and support you. Use the wisdom, you've got the little owl there. It's also an end of a phase and a new beginning because it's the Nine of Swords. Okay, Scorpio, if you are signing contracts, be aware you've got the snake. There is a snake in the grass. Be aware of poisonous people, or people that aren't true to you or that are slithery. And this is a very good card to have. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to those little voices in your head. If you doubt anything, don't do it. Don't go for it. There is a porthole, though, that the angels have given you because you've got the two pillars, the yin and the yang, masculine, female. Um, the angels say, go through that. It's a new beginning. Make your own decisions. Listen to your gut feeling and your heart. Not so much your mind. Okay? Be aware. Be conscious. Your emotions, your intuitiveness and your spirituality. Listen to what your soul is saying. I don't know why, that's what I came up in me. Okay, Sagittarius, you can do a wish, but there are things that you need more information. Um, as the bucket goes down the well very deep, you need to do some more research with regard to situations or issues. You need more information before your wish or goal can come true, perhaps. Okay. You've got the, uh, let's have a look, I think it's the King of uh, Cups. You've got the King of Cups. Perhaps you need, um, you wish uh, for a beautiful Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces person to be your love of your life or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. If it is a girl, a lady, then she could be career, career orientated, but nurturing, definitely. If it is a man, it is also a nurturing man, a very good father figure that will take care of you and the family, if that is your wish. Okay, otherwise you might be feeling like the king, strong, career orientated, but still nurturing. I hope you have enjoyed the reading for today, guys, and I'll see you later. I will be going... Uh, out live at about 8 o'clock tonight, a little bit earlier because I'm doing something later on. Okay, ciao ciao and be blessed. Enjoy your day. Please share and like with family and friends and remember, together we stand strong. Solidarity!